Hi everyone, SoulSurfer17 here. Let me first, like usual, I did not own the picture and made the thumbnail, and this is a not paid video. And oh, great, I have to basically, uh, fire's on, so I gotta go take care of it. <sighs> Just when I start, I have to go take care of the fire. Alright, give me a few minutes. Okay, so, sorry about that. I just need to take care of the fire. Um, so, I kind of got an inspiration from some things, and along with basically the new Perks of Jackson TV show on, you know, that's coming out, or is out. So I'm like, hey, I'm going to go back to it this weekend, along with basically my Deku one of, you know, solo leveling. But I'm, I'm also making my Jack Frost one already, so I maybe made my, you know, Deku Jack Frost one. There's a lot of things I'm trying to get done, but the fact is, I've been sick. Like, <clears throat> who knows how long. And then basically, I've been trying to get over my cold, basically. So I've just been coughing a lot, and I've been working. So And I've been going to work while basically being sick. Not because I don't even have that many sick days, though. So I couldn't have basically been like, hey, I want some time off. Can I have some time off? Since I had... You know, since I just started the job, I don't have that many sick days. So, I'm not going to use them. So, I decided to go in. While I'm not feeling good, I still worked. So, yeah. <coughs> Anyways. So, like I said, I got some idea, some inspiration for this idea. And this has also helped me to get into my Naruto Sun Chaos one. So, this is kind of also saying, hey. I'm going to basically make this Son of Chaos one. I just have to go back and read where I was. So, Sunday or Saturday, I'm uploading these videos. All the videos I have made, I'm going to be uploading them. Okay? All the So, that means every single video I've ever made, so far until this point, I'm just uploading them all in one day. So, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> so, that's what I want to say. So, I'm just going to say this as a quick thing. And this what if... This is kind of when I'm just going to be like... Hey, whatever I think can work, I'm going to put it in. What, basically, from... That's what I thought. But, No. I thought I was going to do that. Technically speaking, how it's going to happen is the world is collapsing because of somebody. You're going to ask, how? I mean, why? I mean, how's the only way basically can collapse from space and time? Someone mess with the flow of reality itself, which only a primordial can. But what happens if Basically, a titan <clears throat> who's basically may have saw the future because of his time ability decided to basically, just in case the prophecy ever you know gets fulfilled, he basically gets rid of like gets a part of him, basically into you know off of him you know whatever part or just create something. But I was like thinking, yeah, a part of him will work. A part of him that he has sealed away to gather as much energy as it can. And since no one ever knew about this, mainly the gods of Olympus, they basically never knew. And the amount of power that basically this piece of, well, of this basically being has gained, you know, had enough to basically break through the barrier of, you know, you know basically space and time. Into basically going to other dimensions. So basically the fabric of the multiverse or whatever could be in danger. <laughs> but in a sense still not really. In a sense where everything's like affected. Hold up. Okay. So that's what I was kind of thinking of that scale. Like a lot of stuff is affected. Like to a point where I can bring in different creatures or whatever into this and just make it where it's fun. Well, make it where I can keep basically the excitement and experience going. And I asked my friend about this 
and they they they, they liked it. And it basically another friend, just to make sure what he thought. He thought it would be a good idea. So, just to say this, there are going to be some people coming into this world that shouldn't be there. Basically, in the end, I am I may not even exist in this world anymore, or I may have a... I don't know why I like to do this, but I may have a tragic fate that no one ever suspected. After all of it. <laughs> oh, why do I do this to myself? Because, why not? Anyways, so, I'm probably going to... If I ever release this video after I get some people to listen to it, then basically I may upload it. Because I want to make sure with someone how they think of it. Because I'm like, generally like, I don't know why. Kind of nervous about this because I know I made my Naruto Chaos one. That video seemed to be going good, but... I'm just wondering if anyone's going to be like, oh, great, another Isekai one where he goes into a world. I'm not going to like this. I mean, I'm just going to do it, and that's all. So, yeah, enough of me talking. Let's get going. I'll even put a timestamp in the lazy when the video says when do you want to start at 6.34. All right. So, yep. Yeah. Part one of this, what if I was in, what if I was in Percy Jackson? So, where we're starting off is me just basically Christmas night. <laughs> this is all happening on Christmas night. I am basically up. Well, it's Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. I am up. I'm just in my room. Just doing whatever. You know, just... Let's just say, on my, basically, PS4. I don't have a PS5 yet. Basically. Oh, yeah, by the way, how was everyone's Christmas? Hope you guys enjoyed it. And everything. Forgot to say that. Um, but yeah, anyways. So. I'm just, basically wondering, what type of video should I make? Seriously, I need to make my Percy, I need to make, like, a Percy Jackson, you know, what if again, because it's Son of Chaos, I should really get into the book. Uh, but I need to also make my basically Deku What If solo leveling. People have been waiting for that. I've been neglecting it. I don't know why. <laughs> you know what? I even have to make my. Okay, someone wants me to make my Deku Jack Frost What If. Okay. 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 I'll try to make it on Christmas Day or Eve. Most likely, I can't because of. People may be coming over or something, and I may have to help out. I may have to also wish people Merry Christmas. <sighs> Don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm going to try. Alright. Let's just try to basically make this video. And... Let's hope for the best. As when I'm basically picking up my phone, all of a sudden, Flash! Knocked out. Don't know what happened. Don't know what's going on. I'm just completely knocked out. And when I wake up, I'm just like, uh, why? Why does it hurt? Why do? Why does my body hurt a bit? Okay. As I open up my eyes and darkness. That is all I'm seeing. As I'm just like, wait, did I die? Oh. Oh, come on! I only... I haven't lived that long. Uh, whatever. Alright. Where's... Where's the gates? Where's, where's my judgment? Okay, come on. Hurry up. I have no time to wait. I'm ready to be judged. But I don't care. I know where I'm going. Give me a pass. Nothing happens. I'm like, huh? Uh-oh, okay. Oh. Hey, uh, hello? Hello? As I somehow, in some way, am floating, and I'm like, you know, realizing, I'm like, okay, so I decide to f float a bit, and who knows how many hours pass. I don't have my phone, I don't have no technology, I don't have nothing to basically figure out, basically, 
how much time has passed, nothing. I I basically legit could be floating there for hundreds of years, thousands of years, and I don't even know. But all I know is the longer I'm there, basically something starts to creep in. Fear, desperation, loneliness, that starts to creep in and all and hold up. Okay, so then I'm, then basically I'm like, all right, okay, come on, um, this has to be some prank or something. I mean, and me floating, yeah, wires or such, um, just, it's just someone, anyone, hello. So, more time passes. I'm trying to figure out how long it's been. I didn't keep count how long, you know, when I first came there, so it's difficult for me. So, I basically try. I get bored, basically, trying to do this. So, I decided to basically try and float around and such, and basically figure out, basically, if I can find some sort of landmark, anything. Even though I know this is a dark void, where there's nothing there besides me, I need to find something Anything. Desperation. After that basically passes, I just float there and be like, okay, I haven't found nothing. I don't know how long to pass. It could have been a couple minutes. I know basically my attention span or my boredom can kick in just like in a snap of a finger, but come on. Think. Think, brain. What could have happened? Why am I even here? And is this the afterlife? There was... Then, just, is this one they make, some people mean by just nothing? Darkness? <sighs> okay, okay, just, let's, I need to think. Well, given any possibility, scientific explanation, theory, like, even myths could be this. As, I even say, even anime basically could help me at this point. <laughs> As nothing, I think Isekai would work, but usually a god would appear, a god or a goddess would appear to send me away to a new world, but nothing. So, again, time passes, and basically, I just get numb to the feeling of boredom. I stop thinking, I just sigh, and makes them like, okay, 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 I'm done with this. I think I am just annoyed. Maybe I'll be... Should I just... Am I going to become emotionless? Maybe. As I'm basically... Me just floating and relaxing. And I would basically think... So five minutes have passed. <laughs> well, since this is the void, it seems like basically the whole entire reality was erased. Uh, as then I... And then that basically did never thought pop into my mind until now. Like, has has reality actually been erased? Everyone's existence? Wait, does that mean I'm the last, like, the only one alive? That, that can't be possible. Wait, my friends, which I, which is, you know, for right now only a few. My father, my dad? My sister, my family basically gone, just, just basically people who I don't know, the world, the universe, reality itself, how, how could I survive, how did I survive, just, just what's going on, as I basically try to figure this mystery out. As when I basically finally can't come up with nothing after multiple hours, I think that basically pop into my head of just theories and thoughts and just trying to figure out. I just say, ah, enough! Just what the heck is going on? Ah, I can't believe I'm just saying enough when there's no one around. Am I gonna go crazy or something? <laughs> Actually. I mean, that seems boring. And I just realized, when I was about to go crazy, I immediately say boring about it? 
Huh. Oh, uh, yeah. Boredom does lead to craziness sometimes. Eh. Uh, great. As then, all of a sudden, light appears. I'm like, it's about time! Yes, finally! Something new here! Who knows how long have I been here? Come on! Please, something good! Something that's in the three figures right there. I'm like, hold up. Uh, what's going on? As then, basically, after the light disappears, basically, three people. As I see these three figures, and they're old women. I'm like, um, it's, as I basically am saying, not of them, like, some of them, like, confused and motionless a little bit tone. As I'm like, uh, excuse me? I'm sorry to be rude, ma'ams, but, uh, who are you? As basically, the, you know, no, they're just ignoring me. I'm like, as I kind of just basically blink, and I'm like, Okay, I'm kind of annoyed. First people I've met in who knows how long. And yet they're just annoying me. Great, great. You know what? I, I'm just done with this. I'll just wait. I'll be patient. I'll be patient. As after they look around, as I hear one, the middle, basically, woman say, well, old lady says this. It, it cannot be. He, he did it. As in the one to that woman's basically loved says, Sister, this is impossible. As in the basically the one on the right of the middle, basically sister, says, Yes, this is. He, he was supposed to be sealed, but yet this is impossible for anything to happen like this. As in my hear sisters, I'm like, wait. Um, hello there. As I still leave for some reason, I'm just like, why am I saying like in a chipper tone like that? Well, did, did I really start losing emotions? Huh. I don't sound like it in my own head. Oh well. I'll figure this out later. <sighs> so, as I'm there, basically three old women look at me. As one of them, as basically the one on the right of the middle one says, I Impossible. How did you survive? Which I basically just blank on like, and then basically I kind of go like a little bit slump and sound, I would try to make a little bit, you know, sound like I'm dead a bit. Um, and I would say, oh great, so I really am the only survivor of a whole entire reality erasing, whatever. A reality eraser, I guess, power. As in the, basically, the left sister, you know, from the middle one says, Mortal, how you shouldn't have not been alive, and yet you are. I'm like, and I just sigh. Yeah, I'm like, look, I don't know if I'm correct. I don't know your name, so I would just call you by your title. And I only know basically two pantheons that have basically all the women. I'm not trying to be rude to you, fams, but I only know two basically pantheons that have old women, and basically from one series, they have a lot of power. So, I would like to ask, though, are you three the sisters of fate? And I do not want to know your names because names have power, but titles, I basically... I only can say that because that's only how I can remember all three of you. As the first sister to, you know, the right of the second sister, which is in the middle, says, Correct, child, that is true. We are the sisters of fate. Now, verse you're talking about, which the middle one, well, the, the second, which is the middle sister, says, Sister, he means where the world we're from, Correct. As I would not. Which the third would, you know, the basically third sister, which is the left. Basically goes like, interesting. Which I just sigh and be like, yes, yes, yes. Interesting. But, are oh, you from the Percy Jackson verse? Which basically all three of them blink. And I'm like, where all the gods basically 
aka Zeus, does not want to know the great demigods basically know about there's other pantheons such as Norse, Japanese, Hindu, basically Roman, and also just the name, since there's so many I can't name them all. But the lastly, the one basically Chinese. Wait, there's also one more. Buddhism, which basically those the sisters of fate would not be like. Yes, we are from that world. The well, second sister, which is the middle, would say. I'm like, well, as I'm basically just crossing my legs and floating there and tilting my head to the side. I'm like, so. I say basically somewhat of a chipper tone. I'm like, what are the sisters of fate doing here? Basically, for, are they here to talk to little old me? Yeah, probably not. Which, basically, the third sister, which is on the left, says, no, we we had a vision of this. Of basically, a world suddenly, or should we say, a reality disappearing. We it took some time to find it, since some things have been going on and the, I would say, multiverse, omniverse, basically multiple different worlds disappearing. Which, they would nod slowly. I'm like, huh. Wow. That's actually kind of fun. I didn't even. Which, they're like, huh? I'm like, which I just kind of chuckle a bit like, <laughs> sorry, I don't know how long I've been in here. Honest is the truth, I just, I woke up and I could have been in here for who knows when, thousands of years, hundreds, millions? As I just shrug, I'm like, I really don't know. So, I'm sorry if that makes me basically sound excited. I'm knowing basically that that is happening. <laughs> in which they're just nodding slowly to that. In which, one of them was saying this. Probably the first one, which is on the right, say, um, child, what is your name? I'm like, my name? Huh. I, I don't remember, actually. How, how do I not remember? As that makes me confused. As basically, this even catches them a little bit off guard. Which, basically, the male sister will pull in her two other sisters, basically, into, you know, a whisper, saying, Sisters, I believe he has been here for who knows, as he says, how long. But his name could have been taken, or he just basically lost all memory of it due to, basically, what has happened. A price to pay for someone's actions that have its effect in him alone. As, basically, the... Left sister says, I agree. We do not know basically anything of his cause. Well, of this. But if it's who we think it is, which it shouldn't be, as then the right sister would say, Agreed. But first, if the father of the gods basically did do this, that means basically everything's in danger. Reality will break because of him. And this boy is, well... Stuck here. Well, stuck here. Do we have the power to do anything from him? Which the middle sister says, We do never, we never really cared about basically people's lives. Besides, if we bring him, his fate is not in our hands. Which basically the left sister, well, the sister on the left, the third one was saying, I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that, basically, sister, but the problem is this. What would be worse, him basically, in our world, with no fate, where he can do whatever, and basically change people's realities, or well, not realities, but people's fate of death, or basically him being here where he could eventually, maybe, find a way to come to our world, or any other worlds, and become more of a problem. Which basically the middle one thinks and just sighs I'm like, I'm sorry, sisters. I just, I, I let my greed basically take over. Which 
both of them, both sisters says to the middle one, it is fine. Basically though, but the, well, the first sister, the one on the right, will say, but, my only question is though, he is not a demigod, and we cannot transport him to our world, without to get in contact with other gods. Even a primordial. Which, basically the third one, which is on the left, will say, agreed, we do. So the middle one, will, so the second one will say, we must basically call upon great gods who will basically understand and accept this. Which, basically, they will not, and maybe chaos. But first, he may gain power from basically a god, but the fact is, he won't be a true demigod. I believe. Which, basically, which, I mean, they both will not again to this, which in the first one says, so we must give him some powers? Abilities? Which, basically, the third one goes, yes, abilities that he may know, or he may have thought of, or he, basically, whatever, comes to his mind. Anytime in the past. Which, basically, they just, two of the sisters sigh, which says, this will be a problem, but less of a problem if he basically doesn't get it from someone else. At least from with us, we can at least control how which powers it is, and how powerful it can be, depending on the knowledge we get from it. Which they basically both agree. Hold up. So, basically, well, 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 while they're discussing this, I just realized they are, I'm like, um, excuse me? Hello? Woohoo! Sisters of Fate! Which, basically, they realize, I'm basically, you know, calling them, they basically, you know, look at me, and like, uh, yes, yes, uh, basically, I'm like, well, I don't remember my name, <laughs> I don't remember, basically, my channel name, which I raised up an eyebrow, it goes like, oh, YouTube channel that I basically I made. <laughs> I can't remember as well, Soul Sweeper, but that's that. That's basically all I can remember for now, at least. I uh, can't remember anything else. Maybe a few names I would like to call myself, like Jack or Zero or uh. Actually, I don't really know. Which basically all three of them will not. It goes like. The third one, basically, the left sister, will ask, Well then, we shall call you Soul for now, and we would like to ask you a question. Which, I'm like, alright, shoot. Which is basically the middle one, the second one will ask, Would you like to come to our world? Which, I'm like, uh, you mean the Percy Jackson universe? They all nod, I'm like, with monsters, dangers, adventures, trials... And a fate worse than death as a demigod? Which, I mean, they kind of, you know, um, have no emotions on that. You know, no flinching, no nothing. They just say, yes. I'm like, where do I sign up? Uh, which I just blink and like, you're not questioning it, arguing with us? They all, all three of them are saying exactly the same thing. I'm like, it beats staying here in nothingness. I mean... I could really go mad here, and I would have no one to talk to, and nothing to do, and who knows what lives here in the in the void. It seems like, in nothingness. Maybe creatures from the void could come here, something like, I don't know, time, mon time monsters or something. First time ever in this situation. This is like, reminding me when I'm in my, when I basically put myself into an Isekai story. The Isekai story? Like, all three of them, like, I put myself into a story where the main character's around and stuff, and I just, I basically am there for the ride, and I do my own things. They're like, oh, I'm like, yeah, pretty much. <sighs> but it doesn't matter at all. So, can, can I basically at least ask something? Which, which basically the third one, well, the third and second one will say, go ahead. I'm like, am I going to get powers or demigod powers or a parent? 
parents at all. Since, I mean, I don't think you have the power to turn me into a child again. Which, all three of them look at each other like, yes, we have something, but, um, as basically a sister, the third sister of fate basically take out a paper and be like, here you go. Which I'm like, huh? What's this? A list. A list of powers that you're going to get. And we figured it should be done by chance. As basically one of them waves their hand as in all of a sudden a wheel appears away from them. As I'm like, as I see many different things, I'm like, and but because they're all blank, basically different colors and stuff, I'm like, how does this work? Which basically... One of the, the first sister says, Ah, allow me to do that. As she just puts her fingers on, well, two fingers on my head, and then all of a sudden, they're basically, well, the basic, I forgot. <laughs> the wheel basically, all of a sudden, the wheel, you know, basically start to get, basically, names of it. I'm like, let me guess. To basically all of the knowledge I know of powers and put it onto that wheel, which there are so many different powers on there, but you had to limit it because they'd not be overpowered, which she does not. I'm like, put the thumbs up. I'm like, anyways, I'll get this done. And, and I only see like three things, which I'm like, only three powers. <sighs> All right. Doesn't matter. As long as I don't get the darkness, God of War, Spawn or any other powers that I know. Okay, by the way, I don't own those names at all. Like, God of War, I don't own. Spawn, I don't own. The Darkness, I don't own. I'm just saying those names because of references. Yeah, hold up. Alright. And uh, any other anime characters that I that I've seen. OP, I am good to be in the Percy Jackson universe. And Zeus won't try to kill me. <sighs> so, while I do that... The Sisters of Fate make multiple different messages and basically get replies from all the Greek gods and along with basically chaos, including Gaia. Some titans that are basically good, like Rey, in which Rey is, says she would like to basically have like a direct message what will happen because she would like to know since she cannot leave for reasons basically she does not want to go into. But some of the gods basically are curious why the Sisters of Fate called upon them. So, here's who basically answers. Oh yeah, and basically the only reason why basically I would say Hestia is not going to be, you know, there is because, one, she says she's not Olympian, and two, basically, she does not, I mean, she does not think she can basically make it wherever, you know, they need her to go. Because she's, she's in the middle of one of her godly duties. And which one of the sisters, you know, said it was perfectly fine. So, yeah. So, basically, here's who comes. Hera. Surprisingly. Athena. Curiosity. Artemis. Also curious. Hades, Hephaestus, and Poseidon. Now. Another person is, you know, to appear. But for now, nothing. In which, basically the third sister that's on the right of the middle one, I mean not the right, the left, on the basically left side of the middle one says, we were hoping for chaos to appear, they did not, well, they did not appear. <sighs> this may be more of a problem then. In which, basically, Hades would say, sisters of fate. Why did you call upon us, if I may be asked? Well, if you do not mind me asking. As the first sister says, Lord of the Dead, Hades, we did not basically mind. We basically would ask you all of this question. As the middle, basically, sister would say, Would you like to adopt a child, or, well, a male, not a male adult, in our terms, as a child, because of how basically long we lived, basically a part to be a part of your family, in which Artemis glares at them, 
And then basically before you can even say anything, Athena would say, first off, before we even ask, why are we here in this void? And then basically a space of nothingness in which the third sister that's on basically a left would say, it wasn't a void, it was a world that existed here once. A dimension. Where gods did not exist at all. Myths and legends, monsters, nothing existed. Just humans. In which, basically, that would be shocking to all of them. As in Poseidon was like, Are you saying we are in our reality altogether? A different dimension? Which, basically, the male sister would nod, yes. As is then, basically, the first well, the first sister, which is on the right, will say, to be frank, we did not know of this. Probably the primordials knew, but not us, until we saw a string appear, well, someone's string appear without basically us knowing who it, was, who it was from, for, or anything. This person's fate was not a part of our world. As soon as we basically touched it, all three of us, we saw... We saw something drastic happen. Someone appeared into their dimension, cracking the space and time, came through, and looked at the world and sneered at it and said, This pitiful world has nothing. No, basically, power I could absorb and use, siphon off of it. This dimension is nothing more than worthless. And waved his hand and basically destroyed it. As, well, as basically how he destroyed it was through time. He scattered out for this, the whole entire dimension, aging it to the point of basically self-destruction. Which, <sighs> you all know who it is. In which everyone is shot by and Hera just whispers, Father, which basically... The middle one says, yes, Lady Hera, Kronos is alive. We found, somehow, he foresaw his fate, his future. We basically shouldn't be surprised, since he was basically at the power of time. <sighs> Wait, I'm just going to double check that. Okay, uh, I was right. So, and so... He basically destroyed this whole entire reality of this dimension itself by rapidly aging its basically time, existence. The sun here basically destroyed it all. And then basically a chain reaction happened. But he made it ma basically have it only in a split second. That's all we know. And we came here to investigate it, but... The fact is, it took us so long to get here, and the time difference in this world could be vast. We don't know how long it's been. And basically, the basically middle sisters goes, and so we are shocked to even find a survivor. We do not know why, but look. As basically, they just see me like, okay, come on, spin the wheel. Should be landing any yet. Huh? Bait? The Fate series? Oh, come on. Why? That is so gonna be broken. Wait, wait, it depends. Any of the Fate character, it depends on who it is. Don't be Gilgamesh. Don't be Gilgamesh, please. Caster Gilgamesh. Specifically for me, please. As I'm basically spinning that wheel that appears next to it, saying fake characters, which is vast. Well, not vast. It's limited to the ones I know. I'm like, if it's Dracula, oh, oh my god, I feel bad for the monsters now. I feel bad for the monsters. Especially if I have Gilgamesh. Because I'm getting problem. I may get the arrogance. And I don't want that. Please. Anyone besides those two? Come on. Come on. And I... Get as then all of a sudden it lands on Archer. I like Shinro Emia Archer. Ha huh. Well it's broken. 
But I don't know any blacksmithing. <sighs> okay. Who cares? Let's just keep going. As then basically that does that wheel disappears, and then I spin the wheel again as basically basically well, Hephaestus goes, he seems um how should I say this? As basically Athena would say is happy? Excited? Um what's the word? As Hera goes like chipper, I guess. I never seen a mortal like him before act like this. Which Hades says Ugh. He's only excited for these brief moments. He may have a neutral fa face, or he may even basically keep his emotions in check. Before anyone can ask him how does he know, which the sisters would go like, since we do not know how long he's been here, he may have been here for so long that he may not have realized it, and have slowly got mad, and yet he's sane enough to do this, so he may have lost his emotions, all three of them will say simultaneously. In which, basically, Artemis would just say, <sighs> Well, I usually don't care for males, but in this specific case, I think I can make an exception, because I'm interested. This archer character or name, what does he mean by that? Which one would say, well, from what we get from his knowledge, the character Archer or Shinro Emya is a counter guardian, basically. A human that based, that had magic that wanted to become a hero. And the world itself chose him to be a counter guardian. But his knowledge of this is jumbled, so it not be, may not be 100% correct. He tries to always remember, thing, you know, remember any information he could have on certain characters events or information and yet it doesn't stay always in there so his mem his basically knowledge may be wrong as in the second one will say so do not basically expect us to be right which back to basically that first one was talking about it which you know the right this is on the right will say so but what we know is this he had archer emia had when well archer emia shinro emia has the power of projection any weapon he basically knows certain of basic qualifications of, basically the weapons, the metals, the materials, how long the time it took to forge, how many, basically times it basically took to fold, that basically the time it took to create and finish, he basically would be able to create the you know the weapons, and which just catches Hephaestus' you know attention, which goes fascinating. In which, basically, uh, you know, artists go like, then why is he called Archer, then? In which, basically, the first one just signed goes like, because Shinro Emiya was an excellent archer. He basically vowed you, basically, long-range attacks. And because he became a servant, which is the name of, well, a name, basically, of a hero that has died, basically a heroic spirit that became a servant for basically a game basically that had mages take a part of that summoned out 12 servants for 12 mages and they fight to make a wish on the holy grail in which that basically catches everyone's attention and so basically Hades goes like any wish which basically all three of them well the first one nods he goes like <sighs> mortals. So, this, so basically, do we need to know anything else? I was like, well, yes. It depends on the vast abilities he could have. It's, well, as then they hear me go like, okay, oh, magic control. And it even gives me a description of it. I can control magic easier, and basically it takes less, less magic cost to make, to actually cast spells. That is good in this one, because all demigods have magic, but they never use it. I think. I mean, if you really think about it, God, I mean, demigod powers are magic, technically. Yeah, that works. 
I just have to remember what's in the great mythology that's the goddess of magic. Huh. Hmm. Ah, what was their name again? As basically, they would say, as you can see, he's at least having something that could help him. In which, basically, Athena would not go say, so, why did you call upon us? Basically, he... As the third one uh, that's on the left would say, we were hoping for someone to be here, so you all, well, you all could talk about and discuss on who would adopt him, with basically to become a part of basically your family. He, and so, but they are not here because, technically speaking, the only way for him to survive is by having the blood of, as in all of a sudden, cracks start to appear in. Well, the air as all of a sudden, when it basically, all the cracks basically suddenly shattered open, they see a, basically, multiple different stars and such. Basically, a vast galaxy looks like as someone starts walking out of that, basically, cracking space and time as then, all of a sudden, it's a woman with galaxy-like hair, basically with stars in it and such, basically... Eyes that basically are vast, let's just say, a purplish color, violet, and such. Even basically an outfit that has to do with, you know, like space and, you know, galaxies. And it looks like it's never ending and moving and such. And I'm not going to go into many different descriptions, but let's just say this. Very, very beautiful that would make any guy basically drool. That's how all gosses are. So... But yeah, which basically everyone would just bow to this person and say, Lady, you know, Lady or Lord Chaos, which basically she will say, raise up your heads, which basically Chaos will look at the Sisters of Fate and goes like, so, you, I have heard everything. And yes, Kronos has done this, but he has done something else to the boy. I don't know what it is, but I can sense his power off him. I think it's a curse, though, at which basically that would kind of shock everyone. In which Athena says, if it's a curse, then we should basically try to basically break it, or which, well, Chaos would not know. This curse basically seems to be strong. I could break it easily, but the boy basically has been here for far too long. His existence is only survived because of this curse. I do not know why or what it does. It seems Kronos has made a basically a lot, well made this curse basically specifically for some weird reason. And it seems like basically he only did this for his own amusement. In which Poseidon just sighs, be like, but how did he even able to do this? Chaos would then reveal basically. Kronos took a, basically a piece of him, hid it away. Only basically his trusted followers, which he never basically really trusted, besides a few people, and they have basically been guarding it with their well, offsprings, humans. Which I would kind of make Hades shocked, like, what? He actually trusted humans? Mortals? And before they can't say anything else, I'm like, wait a minute, how the heck do I have two powers in one? Perfect memory and superhuman? What the heck? And I basically look at the Sisters of Fate. I'm like, excuse me. I think this is basically something wrong with this. In which one of the sisters will say, well, the middle one says, don't worry about it. We're counting it as one power since it basically goes with superhuman. You're welcome. I'm like, uh, thank you. Okay. Huh. As then basically... All of a sudden, two more basically columns appeared. I mean, well, dots appeared. I'm like, uh, Sisters of Fate? Two more dots appeared on the paper. What does that mean? As, well, what does that mean, basically? As all of a sudden, basically, before they could say anything, Chaos would say, Your call basically caught me, basically, during a meeting and caught basically everyone's attention that you asked, basically, for us to visit. So they have been looking and, uh, after basically, 
Well, they've been looking into basically a viewpoint that I basically had here. It's somewhat basically a intrigued to see basically what this boy would do. So they may keep an eye on him. In which a few gods actually kind of sweat a bit. Which, basically, the Sisters of Fate was just saw. Uh, I mean, the middle one says, Well, he does know about the other Pantheon's existence, so it does not matter. In which Poseidon would be like, How does he know? He should not know. Which, Chaos, before anyone else could say this, He's not a demigod, and he's not from the Greek Pantheon. He's from another dimension where the gods don't exist, so of course he would know about, basically, other Pantheon's. In which Poseidon would just kind of look away embarrassed with a blush. In which that catches that actually makes a few people laugh. As I'm spinning the wheel, as I'm like, okay what what am I going to get? Hopefully it's something good. Like, I don't know, maybe Eagle Vision. Maybe. <sighs> so, wait, hold up. Okay, sorry, I had to cough, but yeah. So, I would say that all of a sudden, I do get Eagle Vision. I'm like, yes, Eagle Vision! Comes in handy! Assassin's Creed, old old video games. Ugh. So, as I spin that wheel immediately again, as they just all look at the Sisters of Fate, like, it's, it's just don't ask. We're just doing this because he needs to survive since he's immortal. Which, basically, the, all the gods and chaos nods. In which, basically, chaos will ask, So now, the question is, why do you need my help? Which, basically, the sisters of fate bowed chaos and says, Basically, lady, chaos. We would like to ask your assistance in helping this mortal come to our world. But since, well, which the middle, well, the basically third one's talking, saying, in which, basically, since he's not from our world, he may be torn if we even try to make him come with us. In which Chaos would basically think about this and basically nod. And so she would just take her finger, slit her, like, cut her hand, and then all of a sudden from her blood would make a well, chalice. In which thing, as basically, she would say, to do this, he must basically drink from this chalice, which a piece of it well, we'll turn it back into my blood so he'll drink. This may actually become fully blood, but he'll still be able to drink it all. So basically, it solidified. As soon as I started drinking, it would unsolidify, basically turn back into a liquid and without me knowing. So, basically, Chaos looks at all this of the gods there and asks, so which one of you, or how many of you, are going to adopt this basically mortal into your, well, life? In which, basically, the gods will look at each other, but then Athena will ask, how many, basically, pe- gods and gods is basically, oh, blood does he need? In which the Sisters of Fate were saying, well, we, were, we do not know, I don't, that's the problem. One of them, well, the, basically, the first one would say, that's on the right of the middle one. In which, basically, Artemis says, So you called upon as many gods as you could without knowing, knowing how many? Which, they nod. And the third one says, To be fair, we have never even had this ever happen. We don't even know what's going to even happen. In which, before, basically, Hera could even say anything, Chaos says, That is true. This has never happened any of our lifetime or resistance so far. And to be fair, this would be quite interesting. As then they basically hear me goes like, I have combat styles. This just gives me mastery over combat styles way more quicker. Uh, I'm going to have to learn so much. And I'm going to have to read so much as they just see me somehow go on my knees and just float in there. I'm like, I re- and they kind of just hear me say, I really wish basically if, like, one of my parents could be Athena. That would help on basically the knowledge and like to learn. I hate learning sometimes. It's boring. Ugh. In which, so basically, okay, I mean, the Sisters of Fate just saying, well, just yell to me saying, you know, just look at your list. Make sure, basically, 
if you don't want to change nothing, which I just put the thumbs up. And so, basically, the sisters of fate then basically look at, basically, the gods and goddesses. And Chaos basically goes like, huh, may I basically go to him and talk to him? In which they nod. So, the chap they give the chalice to the sisters of, well, Chaos gives the chalice to the sisters of fate, as one of them takes it, as Chaos comes over and talks to me. Before we go to that point of view, we basically have the god, well, the sisters of fate goes like, okay, so which one of you will take in the boy? Which basically Hades goes, man. He goes, well, he's going to turn back into a child. That's how the face is going to work in this, well, work when he comes to our world. We hope. We have to basically, you know, change him in some way or form. As Hades sighs, I mean, like, do you know basically how, how's the boy's life been? In which they kind of just say this. Well, one of them will say, we don't really know much. All we know is, basically, he's a human being who basically, who, well, hides himself, his basically true feelings sometimes. He basically just lets everything basically go. And just goes with basically the, as you can say, the flow of things. But he has anger problems that basically he'll want to use only basically when needed, instead of basically lit a lashing it out and try to hold them in. S- some things have happened, and I only told him basically I was going to see the powers he knows, but um, I can basically show you basically all his memories, since I was able to at least see that, since as basically all of a sudden, I basically, a strand of string comes out of basically one of the, the first sister's hand. So... Basically, they say, take this all in your hands and see it. And so, they saw my life story, in a sense. To them, it's nothing special, but to basically know this, and basically recently know basically how basically I you know, recently lost somebody in my life, and then this happens, and now... I'm in this situation where I don't know what's going on, what's going to happen, what's what's even do. And I'm just going with it just because it's better than just staying in the void. They just... Hades just sighs and be like, Alright. Alright, alright. I, I'm interested in basically to see what this boy will do. In which, basically... Athena was like, so am I. But I'm also wanting to see basically if he has any strategies he would do that would surprise me. Since from his, we call it a other personality he has that he basically keeps hidden from people. If basically he comes up with ways basically how a fight's going to go and try to strategize it to the way where he thinks it will work. So I'm interested to see what he'll do. And basically, Hera basically is just thinking about Hephaestus. Go like, I usually don't like to interact with many people. I'm even surprised I even answered it myself. But to think this boy has this knowledge, I would like to basically have him basically come to our world so I can, well, see what he will ever make. See if he can try and make these weapons from it from these video games that he knows of. But I'm also interested in see basically what he'll do. See basically if his actions have any basically well positive notes, which Artemis that you know does not basically under you know say well does not understand or basically under you know try to understand. Basically, her thought process, because all she's thinking, for some reason, she, she, even though she doesn't basically care about me, she's mostly interested to see, basically, this, what this, basically, what I could do with the archer powers. And Poseidon just says, well, I like his, basically, his style, and basically his easy going attitude, at you know, that he basically, we have seen from him. So... I'm in. Hades. 
says, Harry, I would I would like to be in, but I would like to basically talk to my wife Persephone about this. In which, basically, the, the fates will nod as all of us, well, Chaos heard and some waves her hand as Persephone appears. Persephone goes like, wait, where am I? What's going on in Hades? You know, you know, just run, well, just as Hades basically runs over and hugs him and asks what's going on and why we're here and why just basically the fates are here. In which basically Hades just sighs and you know, basically asks for the string as basically he gives the string to her and she sees basically my life story. And just saying, I'm basically I'm going to basically adopt this man, but he'll be turned back into a child. And I did not want to basically, not, well, did not want to suddenly bring this up out of nowhere. So I would like to also ask for your decision. I will not do it unless you say yes. And where she basically looks at Hades and goes like, Well, I... It'll be the right thing to do. I mean, we usually don't give mortals a chance, and... If it's something to do with Kronos... Well... Basically... No, wait. If it's something to do with whatever this is going on... Which basically Hades says, Kronos. And Kronos did something to him. We don't know what. Chaos is talking to... Well, Lady Chaos is talking to him right now. So, she would basically eyes wide and just nod. And be like, what do you think? He goes, well... To be fair, he's... He's alone. He doesn't know what he's going to do, and... If he's not a part of our dimension... He's not a part of the Great Pantheon, we... We may be able to help him out. I do not... I do not know, basically, if he'll accept it, but... I'm willing to basically adopt him because... To be frank... As many dem- as many godly powers basically he he has, he basically will need to basically come into our dimension. If he doesn't have basically enough godly, well, blood in him, as he looks at the sister of fate, he will die. Correct? As they nod, he was like, "Chaos may be enough, but not enough basically to ha- have him basically hopefully survive." The first one would say. Which, basically, Hades will not. So, my beloved, what do you think? She goes, of course. Let's bring him into the family. Which, basically, he will have a soft smile. Which, that will basically kind of, you know, kind of shock a few people. And so, basically, the, well, the fate, one of the fates, basically, that's holding the gut, well, the chalice holds it out as, you know, they have a knife appear in its face of their hand. Meanwhile, with me and Chaos, I'm like, okay, so, yeah, I, I, I want all of these. This seems pretty good. Seems like I'm going to survive. As in, all of a sudden, I hear someone goes like, yes, these powers seem to be good for you. Have you survived to a certain point? And which I'm like, which I just look over immediately and see a stunning beauty, which I'm like, uh, um, <clears throat> Hello, ma'am. In which, basically, you know, they, this person giggles and she goes, ah, you know who I am, probably. Which I'm like, which I kind of basically kind of look up and down and I, but then for some reason, I can sense great power from them. I'm like, you're not an Olympian, are you? Or a Titan. Or Gaia. Or Tartarus. Which she just nods to all of those. And like, you're a primordial. Yes. And since so basically the fates of me, I am who? I'm like, you're k k k k k k chaos. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> um. Hello there, Lady Chaos. Or, sir, I mean, I mean, you're a primordial. You can take any gender, right? <laughs> Which basically... She nods. She goes, but I, pref- but I prefer to be basically be female. Which I'm like, okay. Well, then, like, chaos. How may I, um, well, a mere mortal like me help you? 
He goes, well, I wanted to basically at least talk to you and get to know you a little bit better. Which I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm nothing special. I'm just, just some normal human that somehow survived a whole entire reality eraser. I don't know, even know how I even did that. In which she went on, it was like, quite interesting, it really is. Now, tell me about yourself. I'm like, well, I don't remember my, remember my name, so for right now I'm just going by Soul Sweeper. But I'm going to probably change it if I basically go to the Percy Jackson universe. She basically just nods and goes like, you like some, like, uh, oh, video games, books, drawing, um, food. <laughs> Many other things. She basically would nod. This likes him like too much to count. She would just be like blinking. He goes like, I see. She basically just puts her hand on my shoulder and gets well, more than what I wouldn't answer. She goes, huh. Which I'm like, you, you, you softened my mind, didn't you? I don't care. You're primordial. I can't do anything. In which she just, well, nods, basically was like, at least you understand that. You're not basically trying to say something, an outrage. I'm like, I don't have the time to care enough. As basically, I just have, like, neutral look. I'm like, anyways, I got these powers, well, chosen. I mean, I was also, I was hoping for Chakra to be on here. Basically, chaos goes like, ah, chakra, physical and spiritual energy. Which I'm like, yep, physical and spiritual. <sighs> this would be very handy to even have. I mean, technically speaking, depends on, well, depends on if I even have, basically, if I had it, I could basically maybe be able to do so many different things. At least with multi shackle and jutsu, I have a cheat basically how to basically master chakra control exercises from what I know. And at least be able to try to make my own jutsus and learn elemental well, manipulation on my own, which will be very difficult, but I will figure it out one day. Probably not. Probably just don't be able to physically enhance myself and such. In which chaos looks at me and be like, yes, Chakra is very versatile. And it will give you a slight edge than other demigods. As I'm like, yeah, it would be as... And all of a sudden, basically, just a poke on my back. Which I basically look me look at chaos and I just feel this weird energy, you know, flowing within me. As I'm like, wait a minute. I feel stronger? And she goes, you have a freebie from me. Consider this a, well, a birthday gift. Or a, re or a present from me to you. I'm like, uh, I'll try to help you out basically on some things. I need to find that dimension though with the Naruto universe then. Uh, it'll take some time. In which I'm just like, yeah, you, you just gave me chakra. How did you... She goes, I'm a primordial. I can do so many different things that you never expected. I'm like, true. But still, I... Oh, I did not expect this to even happen. In which I can hear the you know, chaos giggle. And she goes, now, tell me. What would you do, basically, while you're in this world? I'm like, I... I honestly don't know. So I just kind of gave a few ideas and such. And so, here's who put, well, here's who put basically their blood into basically the chalice. Basically, Hephaestus, Poseidon, Persephone, Hades, Athena, and then basically, since the goblet is basically Chaos's blood, that's good, which Hera like, is still deciding as basically, I think just Hades would just sigh and be like, Sister, Hera, I think this would be good for you. Which she immediately looks over and he goes, What do you mean by good for me? She goes, 
You will have a child of your own, and you will, never, you will not have breaking your vow to Zeus. And when she's about to say something, which basically the third, basically, sister of fate was like, Lord Hades is right, basically Lady Hera. You Since you did not have a child through both natural ways, and in the human terms, basically, adoption basically means you take them into your family while they're not your, basically, blood relative. Because they are not your child. So it does not mean you are not breaking your vow to Zeus and not breaking any of your domains. And basically, which army goes like, so that means it will not break any of my vows, or basically, which basically the first sister go, the yeah, first sister of fate would not know. If you basically swear on that, basically, well, your oath that you would not basically well, have any children or lose your chastity or basically any of that sorts, does not basically, will stop basically adoption. It will not basically claim adoption as one of those ways. As Artemis basically just sighs and, well, takes the knife and basically cuts her hand, has her basically blood going, you know, into basically the, well, the god's blood that's basically, has been combined all together. As in Hera would just sigh and basically would just do exactly the same way. In which basically she would basically me look at hate and not Hades, I mean Hephaestus and basically Hephaestus just looks at her and then looks away, which she basically, you know, feels a little bit, you know, sorrow, you know well, sadness. Basically, as she goes, I I'll give it a shot and I would like to speak to him. As basically the you know the fates will not as chaos will, you know get up and sit and they all hear goes I think basically there are some people who want to talk to you, as I get up and walk with chaos, as then I see the gods I'm like wait, Hephaestus, god of the forge, and many different you know, volcanoes fire, Artemis, goddess of the hunt, moon childbirth, um the wild. No, that's someone else. Uh, this, in which basically she was, I allow you basically to, well, say that much. I'm like, Athena, god of war, knowledge, well, strategy. Hades, god of the underworld, the dead, wealth, amongst other things. Which she would nod. I go like, you must be Persephone, his wife, daughter of. That oh. Demir, Demetrier. Uh, I can never say her name like so. Basically, the god who the goddess who likes wheat a lot. Which she goes, yes, that's my mom. So basically, harvests and nature. She basically nod, and you basically are seasons, correct? Which she nods, like all right. <sighs> Poseidon, sea, earthquakes. Um, horses. Which, pissy goes, yes, it's alright if you miss a few things. Hera, Queen of Olympus, wife to Zeus. Basically, goddess of marriage. Um, well, I know it's more. Goddess of marriage, love, and, give me a minute. Okay, so, ah, goddess of women, marriage, and childbirth. It was she will not. And basically, I'm, and I would just look at chaos, and I go like, chaos and the, you know, crater of the Greek pantheon. In which, basically, chaos will not. I'm like, so, that's, what? So they see that's Hera, Athena, Artemis, Poseidon, Hades. Festus, Persephone, and Chaos? Uh, wow. Eight gods and a prim well, seven gods and a primordial. In which the fates will nod. I'm like, so, which one of you is my godly parent? In which they all look at each other and will save all of us. I'm like, blinking, I'm like, wait, 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 what? All of us, which basically, you know, 
Athena will not. He was like, yes. We decided to basically adopt you into our family. I'm like, oh, wow. That, that, that's, that's, um, just, why? Basically, Hephaestus will, you know, be the first one to say, we do not know how much, basically, godly blood you need to survive and to come into our dimension. That is why. I'm like, oh, I see. So then that means the power of multiple gods, even just a small amount of blood combined to one, would essentially make me basically able to survive if it courses through my veins. Which basically, they all not. But I'm like, I only can say one slight problem. Would I become a new god or titan? Which basically, before anything is, anyone can say anything, Chaos goes like, well, yes, but... As in Chaos basically waves her hand as the child's clothes with all the blood in it. As in saying, but now through basically what I've just done, this combines everything together to make only you a half-demigod. Give me a minute. Wait, okay, sorry. And then basically after Chaos says that, I'm like, wait. Wait, is that even allowed? I have multiple demigod parents and just... Basically, you know, only be half a demigod. Which Chaos goes, well, how much basically blood did, did you all put in? In which basically all of them will say not much. Only enough to basically, I would say 10 to 15% amount of blood. Which I'm like, oh, so that's not... Um, so, since there's like seven of you and such, which basically... Chaos says, does not matter since what I did basically combined it all together to make, based on enough blood to make you become half demigod. If you basically have my blood, you still be a demigod at the moment, but will basically along basically with time, you'll become stronger and become a titan. I'm like, huh. Wow. Kind of just put me right on the scale of being powerful, huh? And which Poseidon was like, well, I mean, you have to work for it. Which I'm like, true. True. I don't, I mean, getting the easy way out is not always the best way. And in this way, for this, it's not if I don't understand the world. In which Athena would not. Which, basically, I just say, wait, I have one question. Which I look at, you know, all uh, chaos and all of them. I'm like, okay, yeah, this may sound harmful, but as an also I get a determined look and get and make myself serious. I'm like, what about the other gods that are pantheons? If I basically want to get some help, some friendship, some sort of basically guidance from them, because I'm in their territory as such, and if I become one of their champions, a mark or something for rent me to access some type of power or such from them, like Norse magic or such, am I allowed to do that? In which, basically, everyone's thinking about it, and basically, I mean, I think Athena will say this, well, that depends. Basically, as Athena says, as she looks, she'll ask Lady Chaos, since he basically is taking our blood in, what does this, this is, and he's only 50%, what does this mean? Is he basically all of our, you know, since he has our blood, he is our child, but is he truly a demigod of all of us, and basically of Olympus? In which chaos will just, you know, blink and just sigh, be like, in a way, he isn't, isn't. In which, before anyone can say anything, I'm like, so, I'm a false demigod, huh? As they see me basically have a small little, like, smile at that. In which, basically, I'm just thinking, <laughs> ironic. And then I just sigh, which, basically, chaos would just nod, he was like, you basically 
you are basically applied to some rules. But many of the rules of the gods, which is Olympus, is so Greek rules, do not apply to you. You can go to other pantheons, you can seek help from them, talk to them, interact, but you cannot become a part of that pantheon unless you become a champion or such, or you learn from them. And then, then I just say, or befriend them, in which they blink, and they're like, yes, I believe that would be perfectly fine, brother. In which Hades would just look at him, or Poseidon was like, I'm not part of Olympus. In which I would say, I still believe that is BS. You should be, like Hestia. Like, seriously, you did so much help, you helped them so much, and they honestly say, you know, who, you know, basically wipe you away, like, you are like, sweep you under the rug. Jeez. Just because, basically, you are God of the underworld, of death, that's a bad thing? Like, no offense. And see, basically, I look at every god there. Death is a part of life. Eventually, you all will die. So, I'm not trying to be rude here to my new parents. But every one of you are going to die someday. And you should not be afraid of death and accept it. Like, seriously. <sighs> I mean, there's some stuff that you have done, Hades, that I don't like. But most of all, you basically are. You basically aren't basically the worst father. And basically, you are a decent person, well, decent god, so. You're one of my favorites of Greek mythology. In which, basically, that actually catches Hades off guard. He was like, I'm, I'm one of your favorites. He was like, yes. Who's your other? Poseidon's a close third. Hephaestus is a second. Athena and Hestia is a fourth. And fifth, Artemis. Which Hera would go like, on my ranking of gods, when I'm like, as I just look at her, I'm like, oh, um, yeah, I, uh, there's just some things about you that I don't, you know, basically like where I only know much and from the books, what I know so far, it's kind of hard to tell where I am with you, along with basically what ifs that have made you seem like you're good, you're bad, you're nasty, and... You know, such and such. I, so I really don't know. <laughs> but if you're going to be my mom, I'm going to give you the, the benefit of the doubt and just not really care since it's all in the past. I will judge you by your actions of the future and basically, I believe you owe Hephaestus a lot of apologies and so much. Like, I know basically maybe against your domain, but maybe get rid of the marriage between Aphrodite and him, since Aphrodite clearly doesn't love him, and he lost all interest in her for a very long time. Well, a long time ago. In which she's about to say something, and... I mean, she's, a, she's about to say because it's against her domain, but I'm like, look... Humans do basically divorce, and you know of this, and it does make you weak, but I I'm just saying just think about it. You two need to have a talk about it. That's all. In which Hera just sighs, and she was like, I would be, ang I am angry. I want to yell, yell and say, you are just a foolish mortal, mortal that do not understand the gods. But, I... There are some things that you have said is true. So I will consider it. I'm like, thanks? Me thinking, holy cow, I did not get vaporized or get turned into basically a peacock or something. <laughs> wow, ultimate bullshit luck is working for me. Yes. I just say in my head. In which case, chuckles at that. Anyways, so. That's basically the, you know, the middle, basically, sister of fate, you know, basically is the one who's holding the chalice, basically comes up to me and says, drink this. 
And I'm like, well, bottoms up. I just grabbed the chalice and I basically chug it. Well, chug basically, you know, it. As I'm closing my eyes and, not, and trying not to pay attention. Because there is a slight burn sensation. As just then, all of a sudden, I feel like basically, I keep on basically, you know, how to, you know, feels, you know, how to put the chalice closer to my face, just to get every last drop, and then all of a sudden, the chalice is just gone from my hand, as the last gulp, as I was just like, kind of like, look at my hand, I'm like, huh, where's the chalice? As then all of a sudden, that immense pain, just a burn sensation all over my body, as... I'm just like, okay, what's going on? Why does everything feel hot? Hot, hot. What the heck? As as soon as I came, basically, Chaos puts her hand onto my basically shoulder as it goes away. As it basically, she says it will last for a few more minutes. And when it does, basically, with the help, with Chaos's help, of course, it's happening. I'm being stabilizing. As all of a sudden, I get smaller. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm 12 years old. No. Why am I 12? As basically. Athena. Hera. It's just like. Wow you look. I know I look so different. I'm small. Basically back to my. Basically 12 year old form. I. Oh no. I'm going to have to go through puberty again. And I'm going to have to go back to school. No. Uh, <laughs> Oh, my clothes don't fit. As it then also my clothes are fitting. I'm like, oh, these are only my pajama clothes, but still, good. <sighs> I'm just looking around. Basically, I'm like, I just look at straight down that Artemis. I'm like, did you give me some of your blood? In which Artemis nods. I'm like, I just look at her. Basically, I'm like, ah, uh, okay. Wow. Well, I did not expect the man hater to actually can you know share some of her blood with me and make me her child. Oh god, the hunters are gonna kill me. Zeus is gonna kill me. <laughs> In which basically our mistress, you know, crossed her arms together, basically as she was in her eighteen year old form, goes like, Is there something wrong for me being your mother? As she raised up an eyebrow, and I just look her straight okay, I'm gonna stop trying to make the yeah, okay, little kid voice. I just look at her straight in the eyes, and I just... So, pretend when I talk about my, by myself, I'm 12 years old. I'm like, yes. Yes, it is. She goes, huh? She's like, first off, you're going to deny I'm even your son to begin with, so that's perfectly fine with me. Heck, you'll probably even curse my name, say I am worth nothing, you will never care for me. You'll probably basically never even give me a positive note, and I'm perfectly fine with it. Heck, you may even basically one day point an arrow at my face and I would not even flinch. I'll even let you shoot me. In which Artemis is just like shot by this, even everyone else, even Chaos is. The fates, not so much. Well, the fates are actually somewhat shot, to which she goes, why? He goes like, I just sigh and be like, to be fair, if it makes you happy, then I'm dead. So that way I don't have to share any of your blood. I don't have to share any of your blood. And honest and truth, I'll be glad to let you kill me just to make you happy. <sighs> Honestly, I just, I just, I just how I feel. If it makes you happy, that's fine. In which that just shocks everyone. And so, before anyone can say anything, the fates, well, no, not the fates, but chaos say, it is time for you to go. He basically, I would basically, you know, Chaos say, I will send everyone back and I will basically take, basically, what, what's your name? Hold up. <sighs> Just call me Jack. Which is like, huh? Just call me Jack. I got no last name. If you guys want to figure that one out for me, go right ahead. But, I think I'll go by the nickname Zero. <sighs> Be easier then. I mean, I, there's a, plenty of basic last names I know of, but I'd rather go with a name that no one will really suspect. So, I mean, you guys can try to figure out a Greek name for me, or something. 
Anyways, I guess I will see you guys uh, later, maybe? Who knows? As in all, you know, before they can say anything else, chaos basically takes me away, as in there's another chaos there. As chaos just sighs, I'm like, you do all realize that you all can still talk to him, actually interact with him, since he is not affected by that rule alone. There is a limited interactions. You cannot raise him, but you all can interact and talk and hang out with him and give him some advice and such. This rule does also apply to some demigods. Well, actually most demigods, but since he's a false demigod, this rule applies to him more of basically your time can be spent with him. And which that actually shocks most, well, the gods there. And basically they all have a smirk at this, and Persian's like, Oh, <laughs> I cannot wait. Wait, what? when do you send him? Which basically the fate says, We did not tell you basically where, you, where we thought would be good. And which he basically chaos says, Oh, the day after Percy Jackson basically arrives. Which basically, you know, it's like, What's so special about this Percy Jackson? Which the fates know, Poseidon knows, and he kind of swats a bit in long, and Hades goes too. Somewhat. And which he goes like, Brother, your secret's about to come out. Hope you're ready. He says to himself. But, I mean, Chaos does, you know, does look at, you know, Hades, and goes like, He would basically like to interact with you probably the most. Which, he's like, Wait, why? He goes, well, the fact is, he basically will probably think it's interesting to actually get to know you. And you do need, he also does believe deep down inside, you do need someone to talk to and be there for you. In which Hades actually is shot by this, and Persephone can tell that, he, you know, there's actually some tears about the form in his eyes, because no one's ever basically thought of that. But, you know, they're not coming out. So, he just nods. So, basically, after each one disappears, the only one there is Artemis. In which Artemis just is still bewildered, but Hera, you know, is, is the, still there. She's looking at Artemis, seeing that she's shocked, confused, scared. She, basically, these emotions are going through her that, you know, she's never had them before. Which Hera just says... Did he affect her already that badly? But what he said, it, what he said, did it shock everyone? I may have to talk to Hephaestus. I do need to fix our relationship. As basically, you know, Hera will just, you know, disappear with Chaos's help. As Iris goes, like, why am I still here? And in a low tone. And basically, the Sisters of Fate, well, at least one of them will say, well, probably the middle one says, Artemis, you need to know that what he know understands of you is you would gladly kill him. And Chaos goes, yeah, so for him, who basically who lost everything currently, including his own mother, not that long ago, basically will want to make the people who took him in happy. Doesn't matter what they will want to do at this point, since... He basically, since he figured out that he's the last one, it may not look like it, but he's hurting on the inside. Some guilt has formed within him. It's what the humans call it, survivor guilt? Hold up. Okay, so, as I was saying, as Chaos said at the end, survivor's guilt, as Artemis just blinking and she goes, but, but, why would he say that? And I know how I am, but... I I basically gave him my blood because then basically Chaos will also say I have interest to see where he goes as an archer to see if he'll be, he'll be good as a hunter which basically Chaos will put her hand on her shoulder goes like but it, his words hit you hard you don't know what's going on and his emotions are truly all over the place he doesn't feel them, but he's his emotions are truly there, and they're all 
just in a whole entire jumble of mess because he doesn't know what what to do and guilt is there basically want him to die out of basically thinking he doesn't he well, doesn't deserve to live out of him surviving something like this amazingly so but still it's humans well it's human nature basically sometimes for this to happen it's not good or healthy but it's there and basically he likes to help out people he likes to see people being happy and in truth he probably doesn't care if he makes is upset or hurt or whatever as long as someone else is happy he can handle it well some things who knows and which on this is just non solely and she'll basically say, So give it time. Right now, basically understand his you know, feelings and then try to figure out your own. In which Artemis will not be like, Okay. So as then basically Artemis disappears, basically Chaos will say she will return to herself, as then the fates disappear as they're saying, Thank you for everything, Lady Chaos. As then Chaos will well disappear as the wor- there's no one left in my old world. So, after that, after basically appearing at Camp Half-Blood's entrance, I'm like, so, um, do I call you Mom? Dad? She goes, Mom's good. I'm like, okay. So, Mom, um, thank you for everything and me surviving. <laughs> she goes, no problem. I'm like, so, the blessings of our gods or champions? She goes, ah, yes. Well, I basically said you are able to. I never basically told you that it will not affect you, basically, of your godhood. You won't become a god very easily. It would take a lot more than just simple blessings to make you a god. Or becoming a champion. Not one or two or three or four. It will take a lot more. So much more, actually. I'm like, oh. But anyways, as different change of clothing and a suitcase appears, well, different pairs of clothing you know, appear on me, along with a suitcase, as I'm basically chaos will say, you have a slight creation you know, from me. You can create things, basically, that would suit you from thin air. Which I'm like, uh, is that the only power I have at the moment? But she does not. I'm like... So I can create what? Like technology? Th- you know, like a iPhone? iPod? She goes, yes. I'm like, sweet. <sighs> At least this world's similar to my own. Well, she, she does not. With a, slight different, with a slight difference of gods and basically monsters appearing here and there. I'm like, true. <sighs> I said a smile at Chaos, go like, thank you, Chaos. I mean, Mom. Thanks for everything. Tell the sisters of fate I say thank you, and basically I'll say thank you to all, you know, everyone. She basically would nod and goes, but you do realize what you said to Artemis was, and I just sign like, I know. It wasn't a good thing, but I just want to get that out of the way so she wouldn't have nothing to do with me. In which chaos blanks, he goes, huh? He goes like, It'll be alright if she just claims me, but... In truth... She'll never want anything to do with me, so I'm technically giving her a reason to not have anything to do with me at all. In which, unknown to me, but... Chaos, Artemis, is behind a tree hearing this, which... She goes, so you're basically protecting... Her, by making her hate you? It was... That, and also, I mean, people are going to want me dead because I'm her son, so... Monsters will, or other gods. Aphrodite would definitely try to do something with my love life. Which she basically says, you sound kind of happy about that? I'm like, oh, well, no. I'm happy because I can try to ruin that plan for her. Because, I mean, I don't need a love life. Too much stuff to do here. Which basically casts a chuckle at that. So, so she goes, so to sum it all up, you're basically making... Basically, Artemis only claim you and then not have nothing to do with you. At all. So the hunters won't lose no respect for her or any other one. And just say I was just a whim. 
in Waste Chaos with just Sai, be like, you're trying to be a good person. I like, yeah, a shitty person, but still a good one. She goes, well, go on, have fun, make a lot of friends, which I just nod. So, I enter the camp, Chaos disappears, Artemis is shot, and basically some tears are rolling down her face, as then she disappears back to her tent to cry for a bit, as when I enter it, people will come. A man, that a centaur, comes along with a few campers, as then the man goes, Hello there, young man. Who are you? I'm like, Sup, the name is Jack, or call me Zero. Nickname-wise, it's nice to meet you all. And that's when we're going to leave it off, everyone. Hope you guys have a nice day, night, wherever you are. And, uh, yeah, it's been like 41, like almost 41 minutes. Alright, gotta go. Bye.